Hi there. I'm Mr. Standridge. It's good to see you. It's time for story time with Mr. Standridge. Now, it's getting close to Halloween, so I think we should read something a little spooky or creepy. How about this one? Today's story is called A Creepy Pair of Underwear. Yeah, underwear's pretty creepy. Oh, but before I can read this story, look at the main character. It's a rabbit, so I need to change my hat or add some to it. There we go. Now I'm all ready to read the story. A Creepy Pair of Underwear. And this story is by Aaron Reynolds, and the pictures are by Peter Brown. Here we go. Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear. So creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Bob, Bob, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, Mom said. Oh, they're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little buddy anymore. I'm a big buddy now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the light on in the hall? Asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little buddy anymore, said Jasper. I'm, I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door. That's when Jasper noticed. Wonder what he noticed. The underwear glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. It's a little scary. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in the pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see the ghoulish, greenish Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper, and he finally fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of anything. But he was done with that scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scrapey sound coming from the dresser. He opened the drawer, and they were back, staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched that creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, and he dropped the package into the mailbox. Sending them to China, it says. That's pretty far away. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China, and it had brought back souvenirs. That is creepy. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. What did he do? Looks like he cut them up into little bitty pieces. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Phew! There was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. They were back! What's the matter with you, his mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Uh, oh, it's nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear 
He snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Jasper began to dig. He dug until the hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom that ghoulish green glow. But not for long. When he got home, Jasper crept into his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. <sighs> Nothing. Just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. Oh, it's dark. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. What do you think he's going to do? Let's find out. Uh-oh, he grabbed a shovel. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle, greenish glow. It's kind of using his underwear for a nightlight. That's strange. The next day, Jasper gathered all his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. He laid down to sleep and he smiled. And so did his underwear, because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. Wow, look at all that underwear. He bought a lot of underwear. Not sure if I would spend all my money on that. Well, that book is by Aaron Reynolds, and you should check out his books. He's got a lot of great books. One of my favorites is called Creepy Carrots. And it has the same character in it. So I think you'd like it. Thank you. And I hope to read with you again real soon.